Hey guys, John here, J Van Outdoors. So I wanted to talk to y'all real quick. I was at the local um, Target actually, um, and I was walking through the aisles. Uh, I had to pick up some volleyball knee pads for my daughter. So, anyways, when I ran over there, <clears throat> they had a little clearance section, and uh, that was. So, yeah, it's Duraflame, and no, I would not buy it at the price that it usually is, which is $3.99 plus tax comes to 4 and some change, but it was on clearance for 2 bucks. So, I did open a couple of the boxes, I did look at a few of the pieces, and it smells like fat wood, and for somebody that lives out here in the desert where I'm at, it's hard to get a hold of. Um, the one piece that I pulled out of the box is this one here, which is like right in the center. And I don't know if y'all can see it too well. Again, I got a really bad camera. But, I mean, it's pretty well saturated, if you ask me. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty sticky uh, still. Now, not all of the boxes like that by any means. And I know other people have done reviews and I'm not just gonna test this piece um, that's saturated of course I will go ahead and you know go through the box and find maybe a less saturated piece we'll test it out uh, so stay with me for just one moment we'll bring it outside and uh, we'll try and do some curls and we'll spark it and see if we can get anything out of it and I'll let you know what I think and tell you whether I recommend it uh, let's take it outside and get it fired up. Alright folks, so we have the pieces of fat wood here. I have three different types. Like I said, uh, we have one that is very, uh, very good quality here. Uh, sorry about the photos folks. I, I hope y'all can see that. Um, another one that's probably around mid-grade. Just a couple of little veins of it there. A little pocket of it there. I won't shred that or won't scrape that down at all I'll use the other end here <clears throat> and then one very dry piece that I mean there's barely any spots whatsoever so we're gonna go ahead and shave down eat all three here uh, see how they light up uh, I won't make y'all wait for all that I will go ahead and fast forward through Alright guys, so we're going <clears> to <throat> start with the best of the three there and see if we can get it going. Just like that, went up fast. You hear it? Sorry about the sirens and the police cars and the airplanes. I'm outside of my apartment complex, so I do apologize for that. Alright folks, so this is the mid-grade stuff. We're going to go ahead and give this a try now. Uh, the outside was dry, but the inside is definitely more sticky. It's got a lot more of the pitch inside of it, so let's see what we can do here. Try filing those back together. Well, I'll say one thing. That is definitely not easy on the mid-grade, so maybe I got them wrong, but 
Um, that mid grade is not easy at all. I just keep trying. There we go. As soon as I say something. <laughs> All right, all right, folks, here's the third one. It's the driest of the three. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's see what we can do here. I still think it'll light up. Um, there's still a good amount of dryness. Not a lot of pitch, sap, but a lot of dryness. Oh, almost had it. I really got to get a longer fire steel or barrel rod because this thing cutting it better maybe I'm doing something wrong maybe I've lost my touch That one's definitely burning slower. Uh, you can still you can hear a little bit of pitch within it, where that really good curl was. That's really good. <laughs> All right, well let's get this out. Let's run inside and uh, let me give you my opinion, some pros and cons. All right, so that was a little more difficult than I was expecting. Um, the wood is definitely, the premium pieces are definitely saturated. Uh, the other pieces are not so much. Uh, the smaller you can get your curls, the easier it is to light. Um, in the previous, you saw it took a while for the bigger shavings to actually get sparked up. Um, the smaller they are, just the easier it is to spark when they are very saturated. So I'll show you right now how the premium and even the, like the mid grade sparked up pretty well using um, the smaller amount. Now the really dry, the low grade stuff, it didn't spark at all. You got to have a lot of that and it, you got to hope that there's a few little veins somewhere within it. So. Pros. It's 100% all natural. It, there are no additives, so um, you don't have to worry about how some of their other products have fuel starters and things of that nature in them. You don't have to worry about that in this case. Also, when you use very small shavings, it is a very fast fire starter. Um, I still think that Jutwine's a little quicker. Um, than this particular fatwood. I know there's other fatwoods out there that spark up like nothing, so completely understand that. Also, Duraflame uses unendangered or non endangered uh, pines to uh, harvest their fatwood. And what they do is after a tree, the trees are cut down and they use the stumps. So they're not cutting down any new trees or anything like that. Um, they're using the natural pitch that comes within those pine trees that are already being cut down for other uses. And the cons. Well, basically the cons would be that you have to pay for it. And at the original price point of $399 plus tax, I don't see that as a good deal. Um, of course, on clearance for $2 for the box, I went ahead and got it, uh, again, to test it out, and, you know, I'll, I'll use it the next time I go out. I mean, I found a real good piece that 
already drilled a hole in, put some power paracord on top or through it, and then we're gonna go ahead and take that with me the next time I go out, and then I'll use that to start a fire maybe, so we'll see. Also, the pieces, the quality of the pieces vary uh, dramatically within the box. Uh, there are probably a good three or four pieces that I'm definitely not going to use, and there's probably another two or three that are questionable. So <clears throat> five or six pieces may not even be worth using or attempting to use, um, but the premium pieces that are there, um, I'll definitely go ahead and use. Okay, so in conclusion, for the two dollars that I paid, like I said, I would say that it might be worth it. But at a price point of four dollars, I would definitely say for somebody that's going out camping and things of that nature, it's not worth it. I mean, if it's within your budget and you don't feel like you can make a fire any other way but to go buy a box of this fat wood, then go right ahead. Uh, definitely not for me though. I don't see myself ever buying this again. There's plenty other ways that I can make fire other than this fat wood. Uh, it's pretty cool, the pieces that are the premium. Uh, they work great, but again, I don't think it's worth uh, a $4 price point. Now, I guess if you are desperate um, and a local store, that's all they have, for you as far as some type of kindling or and you're just I don't see you not having another way to make a fire but if you're in desperate need then by all means it'll definitely work um, and like I said you know <clears throat> you could take the few good pieces out of there and have no problems but uh, the bad pieces it's it's just extra firewood alright so that's it for this review again Thoroughwood, Fatwood, eh, up to you, I guess, I would say. Um, I'm going to use what I bought, but other than that, I won't buy it again. So, that's it for today, folks. As always, likes and subscribes are always appreciated. Make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. Again, I'm John for J Van Outdoors. Be prepared. Be safe, be alive, be happy. Later, y'all.